this is probably, arguably, most sensibly, something that won't ever, ever make sense. And that is why we start that way, because it's been a, the craziest run in for the Springboks. Come the end of the match, I think the fans felt more exhausted. The fans felt like they had been running out for 80 plus minutes out there. The Springboks are through to the semi-finals in one of rugby's most intense, most exciting, and a contrast of halves, though. When you look at the first half compared to the second half, a man who could not even contain himself, ladies and gentlemen, Tando Manana. It's been an emotional roller coaster of a game. I'm not going to ask you a question. What do you say? Brilliant stuff, Rob. Uh, I mean, you can hear my voice is nearly gone. I'll tell you one thing. I said yesterday, it's not over until it's over. We march on to the semi-final just because we came back to our senses. Yeah. All right, we made critical changes which people doubted it would work, but I think the coaches know what they're doing. If you look at the first half, yeah. the French were on us yeah. when they had that rolling mall yeah. running 100 miles an hour. I took a step back and I said, the boys have got to realize they've got to be calm. They've just got to stick and lock all in. It's what they did, Robert. Remember, aerial balls, did it for the All Blacks. Yeah. Aerial balls did it for the Springboks. Now, what was good about it is the awareness of when the ball bounces and you pounce on it and you run with it. And that's why we saw on the near side, we saw Kertley running down and opening a score after the French thought that they were on us. The crowd, 79,000, was one that was not sympathetic to us. Yeah. Whether we were kicking, whether we were on the front go or on the go forward ball, they were always attacking, playing the mindset. But I'm quite happy that Sia led this group very well. We didn't scrum well, but I give credit to Franz Malherbe. He was an Easter today. If you look at Eben Etzebeth, a better second half. Why? He got a yellow card, it cost us 10 minutes. We only lost three points. I'm saying the French overcalculated and thought that because they have the 70,000 spectators, they would get the better edge. But they played the champs. Yeah. Remember, they the host. We're the holders of the cup. We refuse every time they pounce. We refuse to let them go. Rob was worried for the lineouts. At some stage, we were giving it to them. Yeah. Woki was having an awesome day. Yeah in the lineup that worried me because that for me is primary ball we needed to disrupt we needed to make sure we don't give them good clean ball yeah. Jalebe, the captain himself was also mindful of the fact that they want to pounce on our weakness Mani Libok missed one kick but I think bringing in Pollard tells us going to the semi-final we should just rearrange nothing wrong against Mani but you don't want to put the guy under so much pressure I, I, I was going to say that with Mani Lebok, obviously there were a couple of things that we did spot and one of them was just how with the clock counting down, he almost ran himself into a corner because when it got to be very late, around about what 10 or 8 seconds, then he would construct his movement to go forward and by then he's not even focusing on the entire movement that he has rehearsed so many times. Rob, nothing against Mani. Yeah. It's got to be a team thing. You score, you run back, giving yeah. him enough time yeah. to put the ball down. Now, this is something that they can work on. It's not something that's a stumbling block. Remember, we've got two fly-offs. Yeah. We need both of them. They work beautiful in tandem. Damien Dialinde was awesome today. What a game. It was awesome today. Good pressure. Yeah. Kirtley, good pressure from Cheslin Colby, yeah. my man of the match. Cheslin Colby charged down. Oh. For the first time, he charged down the conversion. Yeah. That was a two-pointer given for them because that's how they've been kicking very well. I think w w when you mention that, and I don't want us to lose that point, when you talk about that charge down, the turning point in terms of this game for me was exactly that. And a couple of minutes earlier, we had seen him attempt a, 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 a drop goal as well. So this was a man who was playing his heart out, but also playing inventive rugby. Rob, sometimes you don't have to be orthodox. Yeah. Rugby can be played even if you play it unorthodox. You have to have the ball. We didn't have possession. 
but we found a way to win. Yeah. We didn't have territory. Yeah. In fact, in the first half, we were never in that 22 meter area. We were defending in ours, but we were not letting them defend us in their own. That worried me a bit. Therefore, I'm saying they had to win it by hook or by crook. But it's also how we nearly gave it back to them towards the end. One minute remaining, what happens? We kick it. Why not hold the ball? Hold the ball. We're going to learn from these things. Yeah. We have to learn. Yeah. But we have to learn going forward that we'll be playing against a more a team that has got a structure, yeah. which is England, who have done it before in the semi-finals. Yeah. So for me, overall, good changes. Because the players that came in made a change. And, and, and the timing of it, though, I mean, when you talk about the changes, coming in around about the 44th minute, 45th minute, staggering them a little bit, captain having to come off as well. Yeah, look, it's never easy. It's never easy to lose your captain or change your captain. But I think what we've seen early in the games with Bongin Bonambi yeah. captaining the side, he took over well. I mean, at, at some point, the leadership was there. Yeah. Because Bongi took charge when Sia was in there. And I think that's the master stroke. If you look, we had Dion Fouri came in early, unexpected, but not at hooker. Yeah. He was a hooker replacement. We also had Kwaka Smith. So I think that combo worked very well for us. Scrummaging in the second half, massive. Yeah. Massive scrum from oh, Oxen Jay. Oh, oh. It was massive. I still feel we need a Trevor Nyakani. I don't think Vincent Koch for me was quite convincing yeah. when he came on. In tight head, I think we just need to make sure minimum change is going forward. Yeah. But if you look, you look at our back line, the yeah. back three, yeah. very solid. Vili came on, yeah. brought the experience, made a crucial tackle on the, yeah. on the chase. Yeah. That's what you wanted from him. So I think, Rob, today's game needed cool heads, proper timing, proper changing, but playing to the structure. 22-19 at half time, we didn't foresee what will happen. Yeah. It happened because people thought they would run away with us. So I'm quite happy with the results overall. I think also what's nice, I didn't see much injuries. Yeah. So it was also another thing. We were looking at major injuries, although I feel going forward, we're just going to need more of a tighter, tight five going forward. We did very well. Kitsov gave away early penalties. In fact, he was gifting penalties. Yeah. That worried me. Discipline. Yeah. It's not the player that did badly. Discipline. So a discipline, yellow card. We look at it. We go back to the drawing board. How can we better that? We better that by making sure once we're on the ground, we understand the laws of the game. That's the only thing. But Rob, to do it in, in Paris, Stade de France, win by one point. Where oh. our backs was against the wall. No one gave us a chance. Yeah. But that's why we believe in this team. They've got a plan, they execute the plan, and they got the vital win. Now it's time to cheer them on going into the semis. But I think, Rob, if you look at the semis, we're facing England. If you look, if we go through, which we will, we then face, we go in the final. Could be another blockbuster coming up. I mean, we've already had a blockbuster tonight, and you talk about it, hearing the songs in the background as the fans are celebrating. It's the South African song, Jerusalem, I would gain such international acclaim but one thing I can tell you is that as we try and recover and get through what we've seen Bongim Bonambi the official man of the match for the game here today leading the charges in the absence then of Usia Kolisi the Boca everybody combined we're not even going to give player ratings we're not even going to do any of that we've broken it down for you as we'll continue to track down the story on the ground here at the start of France with Mr. Manana as we try to get a sponsor to sort out his voice, his throat, as well as addiction. But believe you me, the party is only beginning. We'll catch you again next time. Hashtag MSW. Are you ready for our sports worldwide?